Good evening, and welcome to the public hearing on behalf of the Alabama Department of Environmental Management. My name is Christy Monk, and I'm the designated hearing officer for these proceedings. The role of the hearing officer is limited to ensuring an orderly hearing so that an accurate record of this hearing may be developed for the department's evaluation. I do not make any decisions regarding this draft permit action. On behalf of the department, we appreciate your participation in tonight's hearing for the proposed reissuance of the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, or NPDES, permit number AL002486 for the City of Tallahassee's Sewer Stabilization Pond and Mechanical Treatment Plant located at Highway 229 South, Tallahassee, Alabama, 36078. The purpose of this hearing is to provide the public with an opportunity to present oral testimony on the draft permit action. In addition to oral testimony, the department also will consider all written comments submitted before the close of the public comment period. The department has requested your comments and we appreciate you taking the time to make them known to us. On February 12, 2021, notice of the date, time, place, and purpose of this hearing was posted in the department's, on the department's website. In addition, the department sent notice of this hearing by email to individuals and organizations who had previously requested advance notice of permit proceedings. A copy of the notice and email distribution list will be entered into the record of these proceedings. Copies of the public notice, permit application, preliminary determination, and draft permit have been made available for inspection by the public at the offices of the department at 1400 Coliseum Boulevard in Montgomery, as well as on the department's website. This hearing is open to the public and anyone wishing to present oral testimony or submit a written statement. Lengthy statements or those containing considerable technical or other complex data should be submitted in writing. Summaries of such statements may be presented orally. All testimony and written comments should be as factual as possible and should address the subject of this hearing. This hearing is an opportunity for members of the public to offer comments to help ensure that all relevant factors are considered before a final, final permit decision is made. Please be advised that the department is limited in the factors it can consider when making permit decisions and must base the determinations only on whether the permit applicant has satisfied those requirements of applicable environmental statutes and regulations granted to ADM by the legislature. Persons giving testimony may be questioned by the hearing officer or other department staff to clarify points and to develop a better understanding of what is being presented. This proceeding tonight is not an open forum as an in-question and answer session. This hearing is an opportunity for you to submit comments that you wish the department to consider in the final review of the permit application. However, you may pose a comment in the form of a question, which will be compiled and addressed by the department in its complete response to comments. In addition to oral testimony, written comments may be submitted on the draft permit action. You do not have to make an oral statement tonight in order to have your written comments considered by the department. Written statements may be submitted to the hearing officer tonight or delivered to the department in Montgomery as directed in the public notice for this hearing. All written statements previously submitted and those received by the department before the end of the public comment period will be included in the hearing record. It is important to note that written comments submitted through postal or electronic mail are given the same consideration as those that are presented in person at this hearing. All oral and written testimony will be included in the hearing record. After giving full consideration to the hearing record, the department will make its final decision on the draft permit action and develop a response to comments for the draft permit. The hearing record, final permit determination, and response to comments will be posted to the department's e-file system. This hearing is being captured by a court reporter to develop a transcript of this hearing for review by the department. In addition, the entire, entire proceeding is being recorded on video to be posted on the department's website and YouTube channel to make it accessible to the public. Now let us move on to the purpose of this hearing, the receipt of public comments. The order of appearance of persons giving testimony will be as follows. First, a representative of the department's water division then a representative of the City of Tallahassee, 
then any elected officials or their representatives who, who have registered to speak prior to the start of the hearing this evening. All remaining members of the public will be heard in the order in which they registered during the pre-registration offered online or by phone, and then those that registered on-site at this hearing. I now recognize Ms. Sandra Lee to, re to present a statement on behalf of the department's water division. My name is Sandra Lee. I'm an environmental engineering specialist senior in the municipal section within the industrial and municipal branch of Ada's water division. The municipal section administers the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, or NPDES, program for municipal sources. The NPDES program addresses water pollution by regulating point sources that discharge pollutants into waters of the state. The Water Division is also represented this evening by Mrs. Emily Anderson, who is Chief of the Municipal Section, and Mrs. Daphne Lutz, who is Chief of the Industrial and Municipal Branch. The Department exercises authority under the Alabama Water Pollution Control Act and the Alabama Environmental Management Act to administer and enforce water pollution control and water quality regulations. The Department also has the authority to implement federal water pollution control regulations. This hearing concerns the proposed draft NPDES permit reissuance for the City of Tallahassee's Tallahassee Sewer Stabilization Pond and Mechanical Treatment Plant located in Tallahassee, Alabama. The draft NPDES permit, as public noticed, would regulate the discharge of treated wastewater to the Tallapoosa River. The Tallapoosa River has designated use classifications of public water supply and fish and wildlife. The City of Tallahassee submitted an NPDES permit application for the reissuance of a permit to discharge treated domestic and industrial wastewater to the Tallapoosa River. ADEM has reviewed the application and the supporting information and has drafted an NPDES permit regulating the discharge of treated wastewater from the Tallahassee Sewer Stabilization Pond's current lagoon treatment system and proposed mechanical treatment plant. The Tallahassee Sewer Stabilization Pond is currently a 1.4 million gallon per day MGD, two cell aerated lagoon system with chlorine disinfection. The City of Tallahassee has proposed an upgrade to a 2.4 MGD mechanical treatment plant which would be constructed adjacent to the existing lagoon. The proposed mechanical treatment plant would consist of a headwork structure for screening and grit removal, wet weather equalization to the existing lagoon cell one, sequencing batch reactive units, an equalization basin, and UV disinfection. The draft permit includes requirements to account for the current system as well as the proposed upgrade system. The terms and conditions of the draft permit have been developed by ADEM in accordance with applicable state and federal regulations designed to be protective of human health and the environment. The following are examples of requirements in the draft permit. The facility will be required to meet conventional secondary treatment or equivalent to secondary treatment performance limits for total suspended solids, TSS, TSS percent removal, five-day carbonaceous biochemical oxygen demand, CBOD5, and CBD, CBOD5 percent removal. This level of treatment was determined by ADEM to be protective of the fish and wildlife and public water supply use classifications of the receiving stream. Ammonia, nitrogen, total residual chlorine, and E. coli limits are also imposed for the protection of water quality. Monthly monitoring is required for the nutrient-related parameters total Keldol nitrogen, total nitrate plus nitrite, plus nitrate nitrogen, and total phosphorus. The facility will be required to perform annual toxicity testing for the 1.4 MGD lagoon and quarterly toxicity testing for the 2.4 MGD mechanical plant. The permitted hydraulic capacity of the facility in the draft permit includes two tiers, 1.4 MGD and 2.4 MGD. The department developed the draft permit limits based on a conservative approach using the full design flows or capacities of the facility and the long-term historic seven-day, 10-year low flow of the receiving stream. In conclusion, ADEM has made a preliminary determination that the draft NPDES permit for the Tallahassee Sewer Stabilization Pond and Upgraded Mechanical Treatment Plant is consistent with all applicable water pollution control laws and regulations. However, we are receptive to comments of technical substance or regulatory merit that could affect ADEM's permit decision. This preliminary permit determination will be reconsidered after all comments are received and reviewed. Thank you. Thank you. I now recognize Mr. Scott Trott to present a statement on behalf of the City of Tallahassee. All right. Good evening. My name is Scott Trott. I'm a professional engineer and principal engineer with CDG Engineers and Associates. I'm speaking tonight as the representative of the City of Tallahassee on the matter before us. Um, my statement has been submitted. I believe you've received that. 
Um, the city of Tallahassee provides wastewater treatment to its customers through an existing stabilization lagoon system that's permitted by the Alabama Department of Environmental Management. The facility is permitted for a maximum discharge of 1.4 million gallons per day, and this permit is periodically re reviewed and renewed. Um, currently, the department has issued a draft permit to us um, that came in October of 2020. In developing this draft permit, the department conducted water quality modeling to review effluent parameters and to ensure the receiving water body of the Tallapoosa River would not be adversely impacted by the treatment that was being proposed. However, as a matter of background, in 2018, the city entered into a consent order based on alleged administrative and, um, and effluent quality issues. The city has worked diligently to evaluate systems and facilities to reach sustainable compliance. The city has also been submitting regular progress reports to the department to outline completed as well as planned tasks. Efforts completed by the city have included investigations of the collection system, treatment system components, including their process workflows. The city has identified a number of improvements, including things to the collection system, replacement rehabilitation, rebuilding lift stations, as well as the construction of a new modern mechanical treatment plant. City leadership worked together to identify this need for a modern treatment plant to sustainably meet effluent requirements both now and in the future and to protect the environment. The proposed treatment system, which is currently under its design phase, will include modern treatment technology to reliably produce high quality effluent. The system will be staffed in agreement with what the department says with qualified staff operators there the right number of time, right amount of time. In developing this treatment standard though, system, um, the flow requirements were also analyzed. Um, this looked at historic flows, both, both minimums and maximums that we were seeing, as well as some projected growth for the city. Um, additional permitted capacity was determined to be required to be beneficial to support all of this, and that's what's in the permit that's been drafted. So to accommodate this new modern treatment plant, um, as well as some temporary operation of that existing stabilization lagoon, the draft permit includes both provisions for the discharge from the stabilization lagoon until the time at which this mechanical facility is completed. Um, each discharge contains specific limitations um, for what, it's got, what has to be met. Um, these limitations, again, are based on the water quality modeling that the department um, has completed to ensure that we can sustainably do this. Um, the city appreciates all the department's efforts in getting us to this point, and for the permit, we look forward to the final issuance of this permit. Thank you. Um, since I have not been informed that we have any elected officials registered to speak at this time, we will now proceed to the receipt of comments from members of the public. As indicated in the public notice for this hearing, oral testimony for each registered speaker is limited to five minutes. If anyone has prepared a statement that cannot be presented in a five minute time frame, they will be asked to use their time for oral testimony to summarize their comments and to submit their full statement to the department in writing for placement in the record. Nobody? At this time, I've been told that none of our registered speakers have arrived yet, so we're going to take a short break. Um, we, we do have a speaker that um, has arrived, so we're going to begin in just a second. Okay. Three? Three started? Yeah. Hello. Good evening. Um, if you'll, when you step up to the microphone, if you'll clearly state your name and the name of any interest or organization that you present before you get started. Absolutely. Okay. And feel free to move the microphone, tilt it up or down or whatever you need. Okay, as okay. long as y'all can hear me. Yes. That's good. All right. Good evening. My name's Jack West. I'm with the Alabama Rivers Alliance. Um, we're a statewide nonprofit composed of watershed and community groups and hundreds of individuals around Alabama working to support clean water policies and practices. We previously filed written comments on the draft permit for the Tallahassee Sewer Stabilization Pond and appreciate this opportunity to follow up with some additional comments. I know that ADEM is very familiar with the history of wastewater challenges and permit violations in Tallahassee. I know you're familiar with the consent order the city's under and with the upgrades that are being made. Uh, you're also probably aware that last month the governor signed a lease agreement with Core Civic to build a prison that may eventually connect to Tallahassee's wastewater system. 
I realize that the prison is not the subject of tonight's hearing, but it does loom large over the permit that ADEM is drafting here because of the spike in wastewater that it could create and that the city would have to treat. Since a new mechanical plant is being built and ADEM is looking at issuing a tiered permit for both the current and the upgraded system, it makes sense to prepare for a massive new stress in the context of issuing this permit. So in the compliance plan and the engineering reports created under the consent decree, the city's engineer has designed a sequencing batch reactor system, or SBR, that's generally appropriate for the city's situation and flow. One major component lacking in the design, however, is a provision for biological solids handling. With the current lagoon system, there aren't many solids being generated um, with an influent biological oxygen demand of about 50 milligrams per liter, which means that sludge has probably been accumulating for a long time. But with the new SBR system, sludge is going to be generated every treatment cycle. And that sludge has to be moved somewhere. And right now we don't see any indication of how it will be managed or disposed of. Uh, ADEM's well aware of the problems that land application of sewage sludge or biosolids is causing around the state and permit provisions addressing how it could be managed might help alleviate some of those problems. From the engineering reports, it appears the old lagoons may be used as surge ponds for high flows in the future, which is a good, could be a good idea. However, if you look at the discharge monitoring reports from January and February of 2020, the max flows for those months are 2.4 million gallons per day and almost 4 million gallons per day. And the average flows in those months are 1.2 to 1.4 million gallons per day. In high flow times, the question is, will there be enough excess capacity in the proposed treatment system to empty the lagoon? With an SBR plan, if the tanks are all full, the only options are to discharge non-compliant effluent or to bypass. So we're concerned with how the new system would handle the flows they saw in January and February of last year, even once the facility is upgraded. So those concerns are just based on the current load, but if we imagine adding a prison with 4,000 people, um, things could, could get even, even more <laughs> troubling. The prison is going to produce a lot of biological oxygen demand and solids on top of the additional flow. Since there are only going to be two treatment basins, the question is, will there be enough time allowed for the biological processes to be completed? This may be in the or on the order of days if the BOD is high, like at other prisons. If all the tanks are full and flow keeps coming in, then of course they'll have, there will be major bypasses. It would be helpful to know whether ADEM or the city has requested any materials from the prison company describing the average flow, BOD, total suspended solids from similar facilities that they operate. That information could be used now to determine whether the new system has the capacity to handle the organic and solid loads. And we request that ADEM impose a moratorium on new connections to Tallahassee's wastewater system until the city can demonstrate full compliance with its permit. The Tallapoosa River and this community have endured decades of permit violations, and now it's uh, time for ADEM to put a stop to it. Thank you so much for the opportunity to comment. Thank you, Mr. West. Good evening. 
Um, go ahead and um, please state your name and any interest organization that you represent, if you do. My name is Lee Borden and I am not here on behalf of an organization. Great. Um, my wife and I live in Elmore County on Dark Corners Road. I hope you will refine and limit any permit you grant so that it is only for the narrow purpose of allowing Tallahassee to continue operating and serving its present customers while it works to bring itself into full compliance to renew until that compliance is full and complete. No one knows better than ADEM the checkered history of the city of Tallahassee when it comes to compliance with its own permitting. The city has exceeded its permitted authority for more than a decade despite numerous violation notices and warning letters. As we speak, Tallahassee is allowed to continue operating even though right now it is in violation of its permitted limits. The reason it's allowed to operate at all is a consent order in which Tallahassee is to complete all required upgrades to its facilities within two months from today. By all accounts, that work is far behind schedule. As a practical matter, it's now difficult to imagine a scenario in which the work is, would, would be completed on time, and that's just to avoid continued violations with respect to its present discharge levels. Like many Americans, I grew up reading the Peanuts cartoon strip. Everyone understands that Lucy will assure Charlie Brown yet again that she'll hold that football for him to kick it, that he will trust her, and that at the last minute she'll swoop the ball away and play Charlie Brown for the fool. We can read about Lucy and Charlie Brown and chuckle over it again and again, but that's in a cartoon. If the city of Tallahassee assures ADEM that this time, despite its abysmal record, it will comply with its permit and reduce its discharge later, always later, and if ADEM trusts Tallahassee, it wouldn't be amusing or good for a chuckle. It would be tragic and it would be dangerous. As we all know, the proposal to build a mega prison and hook it up to the Tallahassee sewer system looms on the immediate horizon, acting as a force multiplier for any wrong move taken now with respect to the current discharge permit. No one has yet come to grips with the sheer size of that proposed prison. We're talking about 4,000 inmates plus staff. That's basically a new city that rivals Tallahassee in size with virtually no information provided even now about how this could possibly be done safely. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you do your job. Impose a moratorium on any further permitting until the city of Tallahassee demonstrates that it is in full compliance with its current permit and then it needs to show you these things. One, that it has obtained a clear and specific description of the waste water the prison would be discharging. Two, that it has thoroughly reviewed the volume and quality of this waste water. Three, that it has a concrete, public, well-financed plan in place to upgrade its facilities yet again so that it is capable of keeping its discharge to permitted levels even as it prepares to take on this massive new customer. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Porter. short break. We have one more pre-registered speaker that we're going to give a few more minutes to show up. Um, we're back. Um, no other speakers have shown up, either pre-registered or those wishing to register on site. Um, and since there are no other uh, speakers, please be advised that unless otherwise notified, 
The public comment period will end at 5 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. All com comments must be received in the offices of the department in Montgomery by that time. After consideration of all oral and written comments, the department will make its, make its determination regarding the, put, the draft permit action and prepare a response to all relevant comments received. Thank you for your participation this evening. This hearing is adjourned.